Hi, I'm Lisa K. Donner, along with Jeff Charles, Sarah Calgill, Graham Noble, and Penel Bird. And this is the Conservative Five, Liberty Nation's online TV news program. Every now and again, we like to let our hair down, so to speak, and have a little fun with each other, to the amusement of our viewers, we hope. In that old school spirit, I'm going to call on each member of the panel to agree or disagree with a statement. So fasten down that chin strap. It could get a little bit turbulent before we reach cruising altitude. Pinnell, let me throw you a softball. Does all this UFO chatter mean there is intelligent life out there somewhere? Yay or nay? I say yay, absolutely 100% yay. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send a parade down Main Street uh, to espouse that view. I just think, uh, as Graham said uh, earlier, it just beggars belief that we could be alone in this gigantic universe and that there are no other uh, intelligent uh, folks out there. So I'm gonna say yay, 100%. Yeah, I think we all agree with that one, yay. Nay. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Except for Lisa. <laughs> All right. You guys going to weigh in? Jeff, Graham? Is, is, are we agreeing no, no, with No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go along with Pinnell. I, I, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm very skeptical and open-minded about the level of recent interaction. I say recent, I mean, in you know, in recent decades. Uh, I'm skeptical about the amount of interaction we have actually had with any aliens that might be out there. But but are they out there somewhere, even if maybe they're not they haven't yet reached the stage where they can get to us? Yeah, that yeah, um, they're out there somewhere. They've got to be. Jeff, you're going to play play the Twilight Zone music or uh, yay or nay? Uh, more like X-Files. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go with yay on that. And, he, and the reason why I'm not all that excited about what's the information that's going to come out is because if they have already interacted with with, with aliens, they're not going to tell us about it. So what they're, what they're going to release is going to be a, a whole lot of nothing, in my opinion, not because they don't exist, but because our government wouldn't tell us if they had already interacted with aliens, which they have, because they talk to Superman all the time. Yeah. All and, right. And, you know, and our politicians never lie to us, as we know. So they're not going to now suddenly say, oh, we've been lying to you the whole time. We've, we, we've been in regular contact with the aliens. Sorry, we lied to you. You know, they oh, never do that. Trump's fault. They're always lied. they're always straight up about these things like this. So I just know, don't, know, I, I don't know what makes people think that the government, you know, is is, you know, having conversations with with people from other planets, you know, that. Most of them are idiots anyway. They can barely communicate with each other or the American people. But anyway, all right, next up, Graham. Yay or nay? Dan Bongino will build the media empire that propels him to the White House. Well, Lisa, I, you know... That's ah, a, that's no a, equivocating, no equivocating. <laughs> okay, if I can't equivocate, then I'm going to say yay but probably eventually, not anytime soon. All right, why? Um, because I just think, um, you know, I, I, I just think it's going to take uh, perhaps longer than either Dan Bongino or anybody else um, imagines to build up that level of kind of momentum and the, and the money that's involved in all this lot. Bongino has run unsuccessfully for office a few times before. Obviously, he's never run for president. Um, but yeah, I, you know, so I can see, you know, your, your question was, is he going to, or the statement that you gave me was, he will build a media empire that will take him to the White House, basically. And I would say, yes, I think there's a very good chance that's going to happen. But I think there's a very good chance it's going to take possibly... 10, 15 years. Panel, are we going to shout him down? Or are we agreeing? I'm just going to tell him he needs to follow the dang directions. Answer first and then explain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to say nay on that My one. left side went numb. <laughs> you were... <laughs> All right. I say yay. I say yay. I'm saying nay. I like Dan Bongino a lot. I think, uh, I don't think he's... I don't think he's going to be, I, I, you know, I would vote for Candace Owens to be in the white and the Oval Office before Dan Bongino. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, Jeff, you want to comment? 
Yeah, I'm going to go with nay. I, I think it's possible, but I, I don't think that that's what, what he's trying to do. If he did, it would it would take a while, like Ram just said. But yeah, I, I'm not I'm not thinking that, that that's going to be a thing. Well, you know, I think the way the question is worded is tricky because we said, will Bongino build a media empire that propels him to the White House? And I, I wonder if the real question is, is it, a media empire that he wants to propel him to the White House. I think it was up to his desire. He would definitely want it. Because like you said, Graham, he, he's run for office. He's run for Congress in Maryland. He's run for Senate in Maryland. I think he ran for Congress in Florida. Uh, you know, he definitely had political asp aspirations. So I guess if it, if it was more like, does he want it to propel him to the White House? I think that's a definite yay. But will it? Nay. All right, Sarah, are you ready? Sure. You got your bellowing voice up, ready to go? I'll bellow. I can bellow. Yay or nay. Trump has a quarter pounder with cheese three times a week. Nay. Nay. Who in the heck is going to drive through the drive through in a limo with two cars in front and two cars in back secret service and get a cheeseburger? And if somebody picked it up for him and took it back to wherever he is, Bedminster, you know, then it's going to be cold. So I'm going to say no, no, nay, 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 and some more nay. Personally, I'm a big Mac girl, so I uh, just <laughs> have to say it. All right, Pana, what do you think? The folks at DoorDash, I think about that. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that. Why doesn't he just have it delivered? Yeah, he probably cold. does. Nobody likes cold, soggy McDonald's fries. Nobody. Yeah. I'm going to say nay. I think he probably definitely gets one of those uh, in that in that beautiful girth of his once a week. But three times a week, that seems like a lot. I think Melania would have something to say about that. That's a little too many quarter pounders with cheese. And that, that was my sandwich of choice when I worked at McDonald's. That was my first job. And when I got the free uh, the free shift sandwich, it was always a quarter pounder with cheese. Uh, you know, but I would I would push the pickle off into the uh, parking lot. Well, uh, is this back in the days when the fries used, used to be really crispy because they were made with beef tallow before the vegetarians got to them? That, that, that's been a fries. Probably. Yes, <laughs> they were good. All right, Jeff, you know the drill. Here you go. Drum roll. Yay or nay. Nancy Pelosi is immortal and will never die or leave office. Yeah. Well, first, I, I just want to say, as somebody who is fasting from meat for a week, I, I don't appreciate this conversation about quarter pounders with cheese because that is my favorite sandwich. So, uh, but I digress. Nancy Pelosi. I'm oh, wait, to... wait, let me ask. Do you push the pickles off into the parking lot? Well, I, I tell them not to put the pickles on in the first place. Although if they do, I don't mind. You people, extra pickles is the way to go. Oh, pickles pickles are fine. Are pickles, pickles it's are onions that I really can't stand. But I mean, if they put pickles on it, I don't care. It's, it's fine. No but onions and no pickles. You sound like the man I'm married to. Oh. Hey, I actually thought pushing the pickle you know? off into the parking lot was code for something. And I, was, I, I just didn't even want to think about what it was code for. I'll tell you. Uh, Answer but, the question, Jeff. Yeah, okay. yeah, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go with yay on that. Now, we were just talking about aliens, right? But we didn't consider the possibility that oh. aliens are already among us. I think Nancy Pelosi is proof positive that we already have aliens working among us, and they're working in our government, which is probably why they don't want to tell us about them. So yeah, Nancy Pelosi is immortal. She's going to, to live forever, um, and, and she'll stay in office because people will continue to vote for her in California because that's just how crazy everything is. You, know, you should say that, Jeff, because, you know, Harry Reid, of all people, was, was a huge guy for um, uh, having the government release what they may or may not know about uh, extraterrestrials. He was really big on that. So, yeah, he was. You know, which he was. always kind of surprised me. He didn't seem the type, but that was one of his things. You know, recently I, I talked to a person who, and, and they were being totally serious. They said that they thought we hadn't seen Nancy Pelosi for a year, that the real Nancy Pelosi is not, you know, who we see on TV. Uh, it's like a body devil. Uh, I buy it. I buy it. Okay. What is well, that about? Has anybody ever seen the movie Death Becomes Her? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Otherwise, 
we will get kicked off of some platform somewhere, but I think everybody knows what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> yes, she's immortal. I think, yeah, I have to agree with Sarah and, and the rest of the panel. I think that she will live forever. I, I consider Hillary Clinton to be the queen of the damned, but um, I would, um, and, but oh, that was a novel by Anne Rice. She was a vampire that lived forever. And, um, but I think that Pelosi is certainly the, uh, the duchess of the damned. So uh, that, you know, we, we can do our best, wood, wooden stakes, whatever it takes, but it's not gonna happen. Those two will, they'll never die. Okay, social platform media censors, this is the message. Take none of this seriously. We've just been joshing and kidding around. Well, folks, we've had a good time. I hope you've enjoyed our yay or nay. Thanks for joining us. And remember uh, to yay or nay the statement, liberty all the time and everywhere, to which I say yay. 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 Great. Yay. It for our conservative five panel today check out our other c5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform youtube vimeo rumble we're on them all as well liberty nation now has its own roku channel where you can see all our tv productions thanks so much for tuning in and remember to surf on over to libertynation.com sign up for our new member zone just 29 dollars 99 for the year this has been a production of LibertyNation.com, conservative news where truth matters.